in the same night, I hooked up with both the youngest person, like per the age gap at the time, and then the oldest. So I cougar and cubbed in the same night. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo. What up? Yo, what is going on guys? Back for a uh, a big good one today. We have a dirty McMeal, also a dirty story time to go along with it. And we are doing this situation for about exactly four reasons. Number one, I wheeled a cougar out of a McDonald's. If I had McDonald's that night, I need to have McDonald's now to honor the memory of the coog. Number two, 20 nuggets. 20 represents the amount of years that said cougar in question was older than me. Third reason, I feel like the amount of time that I was gone probably felt like maybe a little bit of punishment to you guys. So I'm like, you know what? Let me come back in a big way and punish myself for your viewing pleasure. A little retribution on my side and give you guys something just to enjoy. And four, I low-key high-key just can't lie. I'm probably gonna enjoy a lot of this. What do we got? Eight patty Big Mac. So double Big Mac being four. I was like to the girl at the counter, yo, can you chuck another four on there? She's like, you're disgusting. I'm like, I know but it's for you guys. McDonald's is always trying to play with my emotions and shit. They're always trying to play me, trying to like do me wrong in some sort of way. So let's get in here, see it, figure it out, and then we'll get into the story. Okay, it looks like we got eight. It's in decent shape. It's not all, you know, leaning tower of Big Mac, sort of, but not as bad as it could be. Um, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yo, they almost got this under my eye. Can anybody else spot what's wrong here? Just off, off top. I see the lettuce, I see the cheese, I see the pickles, I see the all beef patties, I see the secret sauce, but I do not see sesame seeds on this bun. Very, very interesting McDonald's people, guys. You are slick, very slick. I told you, I, I told you, I told you. Did I not? My guess is it's lunch, it's busy, maybe the orders didn't come in for like the buns and shit. They ran out of tops and they were trying to slide slick by with these burger tops, these double cheese burger tops, because that's exactly what that is. That is absolutely hilarious to me. That leads me to want to count my nuggets though, like legit. I'm too lazy to do that. So I'm tasking one of you guys in there inside of my camera to, you, you count for me. How many nuggets do I eat? If at the end we get through it and it's not 20, then I'll be vexed. I'm actually just gonna dump these out. I'm going to take this out of the package as well. Holding up pretty well. That like bun ratio though is hilariously different. The top one is completely tiny compared to the rest of those. It almost actually looks like the girl that was working at McDonald's because her body was crazy disproportionate and I'm not trying to be judgy. It was just actually kind of strange. Her upper board, like she was like skinny and slim on top. And as soon as it got to her waist, it was just like, <laughs> like just packing heat everywhere. Like that ass everything like i was just like whoa like why do you look like normal and then like bam it was pretty crazy so that's maybe in honor of her we'll call this the uh the joanna burger because that was the girl at the counter's name let's dump this extra lettuce because i do love me some extra lettuce somebody commented in my comments one time like a while ago they're like is iceberg lettuce like one of your favorite foods and i was like yeah bro <laughs> it is Provides that nice crunch. Okay, big and dirty, big and dirty, big and dirty. I'm feeling disgusting about this already, but it's okay. It's all right. Sometimes you just gotta do it. I'm so intrigued. I so badly want to cut through and like see a cross section of it. I gotta do it, guys. I just have to unveil the middle and see what's up. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to see what this is like when it's sliced down the middle. Okay, bam, 30. Let's get into a bite and then get into the story. Oh, this feels impossible. <laughs> That's a lot of meat, but it's so good, guys. That's what the cougar said some years ago when I spent an evening in the dead of winter together. Her and I. No, 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 no. Don't try that with me. Some mac sauce here, extra, just in case. I'm gonna put it in a dipping realm, maybe up front here, just in case we need a little dip on there. So, 
to the tail and what it entails. Some years ago, I went out on the town to party. And I had a video where I was telling you guys about me hooking up on like a dance floor and a bouncer fight. My night started at the same place. Sneaky D's. Divey Grunger's Bar. Stop leaning. So much lean I could call you Lil Wayne. So I see this pretty young little thing and I start doing what it is that I do. Chat her up, what up, make her laugh, etc., etc. Talk to her with sauce on my nose. So her and I hit the dance floor and that, whatever. We're hitting it off. She tells me she's 19. Upon further review in the past, hindsight, I probably would say this girl was like 18. She might have been 19, but honestly, she was like just, you could just tell that she was like young and experienced, etc. The night comes to basically the end of the night. Just meet at this point. We leave the bar, go to her house. Get to her house. Things are heating up. We hook up. Now keep in mind, This is where the story is double interesting. In the same night, I hooked up with both the youngest person, like per the age gap at the time, and then the oldest. So I cougar and cubbed in the same night. So me and her hook up, and it's like three o'clock now, I think, in the morning, roughly. I want to go home. Satisfied, drunk, starving. So I dip out and I get on this, uh, what's called the Blue Night Bus to head to where I lived out. At the time I was living far in the east end of Toronto and I was partying in the west. Hop on like the Blue Night Bus, it's like just ruckus as shit. I always used to take it though, cause you know, three bucks as opposed to like 30 or 40 in a cab. But it's called the Vomit Comet. It's just like a bunch of drunk idiots, people barfing, people passing out, men sexually harassing women. It's very fun. Like, you should try it sometime. It's super entertaining. My local McDonald's by my house at the time was like, I would usually jump off the Vomit Comet, head into the McDicks. I, like, knew all the employees there late night because, like, I'd always stop there drunk. And they'd be like, yo, what's up? And they'd just, like, they'd hook me up with extra shit and sauces and whatnot. It was like my favorite McDonald's to ever go to because I just had such a sick rapport there and everything. Hop out, go to McDonald's, see my people, grab my order. My meal fit for two essentially because every time I'm drunk, I'm just like, well, oh, the, the four of those and Big Mac and large fry and like all this other extra shit that I don't need. I'm not going to finish. Get my shit. Throw it in my backpack. And yes, I had my backpack with me because I went out from work and I always have my backpack for work, my work clothes and shit. So 
as I throw it in my backpack, I'm like, it's freezing outside. I got the drunk peas. Like I got a pee so bad. If I go outside in the cold, I got to pee. Like I'm liable to involuntary release and, you know, get a little mellow yellow in the boot. Not good. You guys know if you're outside in the cold and you got to pee, those muscles tense up and then it's not a good luck. So I'm going to the bathroom. I'm walking by the bathroom. There's like this crew, this table they're drunk as well and me and this like older lady or whatever mature lady we should say we like lock connect a little eye on the way into the bathroom in the bathroom i do what i need to do on my way out of the bathroom walking by again they're kind of rowdy or whatever she like so i was like hey you come here so i go over I'm like in my mode and shit. Hey, what's up? Da, da, da. And like, I can, you know, those times where it's just like, you know, you just know the vibe. Like, you just know that this person just wants to smash. Like, it's just like easily seen. So she's there with like two friends, and like, we step outside for a cigarette. And halfway through the cigarette, we just start like violently making out with each other. But she's already eaten her, her McDonald's, so I'm like, you know, I'm getting a little little backlash off, off her McMouth there, but a little preview to what I'm about to have. And she's like, hey, like, you're coming to my place. I live just right around the corner here. Well, not around the corner, like a few blocks. And she's like, blah, 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 blah. they're coming over. And like, and I'm, I'm like, yeah, like, I, I, yeah, like, I want to kind of vibe you, but like, at the same time, like, I, I don't know, like, I just had a big night out, like, I kind of just want to go home and, like, eat and stuff, and, like, I'm kind of not, she's like, no, 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 like, you're coming over, and I'm just, like, so, 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 I'm just sort of, like, over it at this point, I'm just, like, fuck, I've already had my night, I've already done my shit with this other girl, like, I just want to eat this food and pass out, like, I just, I just want to be chills, in my head, I'm, like, you know what, I can't pass up this opportunity just to, like, get, like, a double header, pun intended, like a double header, just like a crazy night. Like this could be one in the books for a story. Like, I don't know, this girl to me is also, or lady, I should say. I keep thinking like girl, but she is a lady, I guess at this point. You know, like she's, it's kind of cougarish. Like she's pretty hot. Like I'm pretty into her. She was like olive skin, like brown hair, green eyes, um, like nice body. One of those bodies that's like kind of, I don't want to say, it's like more like just like full, like not full thick per se but not like dainty either just like that nice medium so i'm like okay the only um, i'll come over on one condition like you have to have some alcohol because i'm like sobering up a bit and i just like if i'm gonna come hang out more i need to drink more her friend that she was with was like yo uh i can give you some beers from my place because they live close to each other so like we hopped in a cab she like paid for the cab to her friend's house her friend ran in and grabbed beers for us gave them to us and then we went on our way oh Cab to her house, get out, go in. And like, from here, it was just like, one of the sickest experiences I've ever had. In the sense that like, this chick just like, from from McDonald's to the end, just took care of me. Like she just cougared, like mothered the whole entire thing. I promise you. I had like, these big like wool socks on and boots tied up and shit. And she like, got down and like untied my boots and like took all of like my <laughs> socks and everything and like off and um all of that like just like kind of like undressed me in a way or sort of deal and then like she went into her room and like it was this big open room with like these high ceilings and she like lit all these candles put on this old like record dropped the needle on me like set the mood Went beside the bed, like, on this little platter. She, like, laid out, like, joints and cigarettes. And, like, got the beers, cracked the beers, like, poured them up and shit. Really set the stage for the main act. And then... <laughs> When she opened her jacket, I could tell that she was like kind of packing something, but holy fuck, like as soon as she opened her her, her, her zipper, it was just like, poof. 
I would say probably probably the biggest I might have ever been involved with. Yeah, it was, they were fucking nuts. And I was like, holy shit. Didn't expect that. So we hop into bed. She continues to be very, you know, caring and giving. I Let's just put it this way. I didn't have to do a whole lot. She basically was like, you just need to lay back and enjoy the ride. So I did just that. Afterwards, we laid, smoked, drank, chatted, talked about music and stuff. And then eventually, around when the sun was like about to come up, she, uh, she passed out. And I was still awake. I was like, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want to wake up here tomorrow at all. I want to just, I want to get out of here. I want to go home. My, my, my house is like, you know, five, ten minutes away now. Like, let me dip, so... I fully did this thing where you like you write the note with like, hey, it was a good time. Here's my number, just in case you ever want to do this again or whatever. And like, I found like tore some little piece of paper, wrote that shit out, left it like where I was sleeping beside her in the bed, silently like gathered my shit, got all my clothes back on, quickly like threw on my boots or whatever. Grab my bag full of McDonald's still. All the McDonald's that I had bought that I didn't get to eat. It was just sitting there the whole time too, by the way. I, I was just like, during the experience, I was enjoying the whole thing with her. But at the same time, like, I low-key was just like, in my head, I was like, oh, McDonald's. Like, I just want to eat McDonald's. I love McDonald's. It was like tormenting me from my bag. It was just like, stop eating her and eat me. <laughs> I was like, I'll get to you eventually later. <laughs> so I dipped out, left her the note. Went home. What do, you, what do you think? Of course. I took that cold, uneaten, hours old, stale-ish McDonald's. And I went in and I went to town. And then I passed the fuck out. And that goes down. I was one of the, like, the crazier, cooler, better nights of my life. To be honest. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Cub. Cougar, smash McDonald's. Really no regrets on that one. That's a lot of meat. How many nugs do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I should have eaten a total of 11 at this point. So if anybody's counted 11, now 12. Let me know. Though, when I upload this, I could just count for myself. So, maybe that's pointless. I don't know. I just thought maybe I'd give you a little extra task. If you want to play a little game. Like a saw guy. Do you want to play a game? Can't finish them. Just at the point where it's like cold. Feeling a little greasy about myself. And smash the last slam of this though, that's for sure. All right. Well, I'm sorry for the hiatus. Feels good to be back with y'all. Hope you enjoyed the story. Um, t almost at 20K subs. I'm going to do a like 20K special with the girlfriend. We have a concept, an idea, a video in mind that I think you guys are going to like. So stay tuned and ready for that. That's coming out in the next little bit, maybe a couple days. Haven't quite hit the 20K yet, so we only have about 200 more subs to go. Um, yeah, thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for sticking around. And uh, until the next one, you know what you're going to do, right? Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.